Hey everyone, it's Katie from Katie's Scrappy Studio and last night I came across a Tim Holtz video and it enlightened me. <laughs> uh, I don't know if, if anyone else was unaware of this but these paint dabbers, the tops, when they dry out, they can be saved. You don't have to buy new ones. And of course, uh, you can buy the paint dabber tops and they will fit on any regular like bottle of acrylic paint. Like, um, I could take the top off of one of these and it would fit on this thing, which is, this probably is 88 cents or something like that. The Apple Barrel, any of these cheap ones. And you can use, you can buy the, you know, dabber tops, three in a pack, and it's not very expensive. But for those of you that actually have the dab, that I have the problem with the dabbers going dry, if you don't use it, you haven't used the, uh, the dabber in a while, it can get dried up. And I thought it, you were pretty much doomed if, if, it, if, it, if it dried up and that was it. But it can be saved. And um, the reason I'm wearing gloves is because I've been doing a lot of painting, trying to alter cigar boxes and stuff. And there's paint all over my hands and under my fingernails. And I know that grosses some people out. And I'm not even close to finished painting yet, so I don't want to go scrubbing just yet. So I'm going to wear the gloves so I don't gross anybody out with the... With the fingernails, especially I've got some glimmer mist, pomegranate gl glimmer mist on the edges of my nail here on the two sides, and it looks, it looks like blood and it's, it would be nasty. So anyway, let me get started. This is one that I saved today. I, I'm, I'm very happy to have it saved, <laughs> to actually be able to use it as it was, as it's supposed to be used. Um, you dab it like that. You squeeze it because it has a, a um, can't kind of it's a, it's a valve and it dispenses the paint when you press down on it. That's why it's a dabber. So as you can see, you dab and then you do that to spread and then obviously you need more and you squeeze the bottle to um, get more paint to come out. But anyway, that's that's the one that I saved and Tim Holtz stores his upside down so. From now on, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to try to remember to take these out every once in a while and use them. That way they don't end up uh, in, end up dried out because it's kind of a pain in the butt to uh, fix it. But it can be done. Now, your first problem. Now, with this dabber right here, this one is very dried out. Not a... And so I'm going to open it up. I haven't opened this up to see yet, but... I mean, there we go. That's what it looks like inside. And there's usually some goop in here. I'm going to get a toothpick. usually takes a couple to get some of this hardened paint. And if, if there's like a layer or a lot of thick paint on top, then you can actually spritz water in there and, and thin it a little bit. And that way it will, and then you just mix, mix it up and then that'll thin it and it'll help unclog the valve and I'm just getting this valve here good and cleaned up and it looks like I don't have any clumped dry paint or anything in there so um, I will show you the next step that you take you make sure the valve is clear and then I didn't actually see Tim Holtz do this. I just skipped the part of a video where he was had water on the mat and was spreading it around. And I'm using a nonstick craft sheet. Uh, but what I did is I just sprayed water directly onto <laughs> the dabber. And then just started, um, and I'm squeezing when I'm doing this. Uh, not sure if she'll do, but I'm squeezing as I, as I go around and around. And as you can see, I've got color already. That was much quicker than the last time. And so, obviously this has a lot of water on it. So I'm gonna have to spray it around on a, or spread it around a lot until I get rid of that extra water that's in the paint. And this is water-based water paint, so you can add water to it and it, it's okay. If you have too much, then you're gonna thin the paint, but... Um, it better better for this paint to be too thin and too thick because obviously it needs to be able to get through the valve and seep through the sponge. 
So, as you can see, my dabber now works again. And the snow cap one that I just did, that I just, that I had today, it took a lot longer to do that. This one, I am really surprised at this one. And this one was just as, it was rock hard at the top. So, that is how you save your paint dabbers, your paint dabber tops. I hope this was helpful. And stay tuned for the next video. And if you haven't already, voting is still open. Uh, I will put a, go ahead and, uh, check out my channel and look at the video for vote for my next video and then you'll find the link to the poll and you guys get to vote on which video I do next uh, this was kind of an unplanned video so this one didn't really even get voted in so <laughs> uh, I hope hope that's okay everyone all right bye everyone oops